Hi, it's Karen with Living Our Dream Homestead, where today I did my weekly shopping at my Kroger store, and I also shopped at Ollie's and Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. So I did need some more milk. So again, I got my two gallons of skim milk. Again, that's what I drink because I am low in calcium. I was able to go ahead and get a half gallon of skim milk this week for $1.45 which was a good deal. This is regular $2.59, so that was an excellent deal. I got my half gallon of milk, 2%. I needed some more vitamin D, and this week at Kroger, uh, it was a digital coupon. I do believe it was a dollar off vitamin D, uh, so I snagged another one. This one's good till 2025. I needed some more yogurt for my husband, and this time I did get the Dan and one. He does prefer the taste a little bit better than the Kroger brand. This one actually this week was on sale for $3.69. That was just the sale price, but that was a good deal. Um, I picked up some whole milk because um, I'm actually going to be making a cake for myself. Today is actually Friday, and tomorrow's Saturday, and tomorrow's my birthday. So I'm going to be making a cake and you know when it's your birthday you want to have something that just tastes really really good. So I'm going to be making a white cake with some uh, whole milk in it which makes it taste really really good. Um, let's see I went ahead and got some more carrots. Um, this seemed a little high I think higher than Meyer, but then I didn't go to Meyer this week so I really needed the carrots this is uh, five pounds of carrots so this was five dollars so that'd be a dollar a pound I guess doesn't seem horrible but it seems like I pay a little bit cheaper at my local Meyer store but I needed these so I snagged those um, if you haven't yet subscri subscribed to my channel please click the button down below um, I needed some more bread for my husband. Again, I store it in the refrigerator to make it last longer. This is honey wheat bread. My husband likes this one or the wheat bread from Kroger, so I got this. He, we were out of all uh, fish in our freezer. It was totally gone. I used the last one up two days ago, so I wanted to buy a box to replenish. This is my husband. He eats beer-battered fillets, Vandy Camps. And so I needed to have one, you know, for next week and the other week. So I snagged that. It was not on sale, but I still got it. Um, I went ahead and got some marshmallows. These are Kroger miniature marshmallows. I ended up buying four. It was um, four for $5 at Kroger this week. It was not a digital coupon. That was the sale price. I'm thinking about making my husband some of that mint fudge that I used to uh, sell at my yard sales and some milk chocolate fudge. I will put those recipes on more probably during the Christmas uh, month. I am going to be having in the month of December 12 days of baking and cooking and it will be 12 days of dessert. So the recipe for the mint fudge and the milk chocolate fudge that will be in December. So that's something you know, for everybody to, you know, look forward to. But it is really good. And like I said, I used to sell the mint fudge at my yard sales, along with, of course, the peanut butter fudge and the milk chocolate fudge. Uh, they were, like I said, it was a pretty big, pretty big hit. Um, I went ahead and picked this up for my son this week and my daughter. They had the Jamestown brand bacon this week. I guess regular price is $9 at my Kroger. The sale price was $5.99, but if you had your shopper's card, they gave it to you for $2.99. So when have you bought a pound of bacon for $3? It's probably unheard of, but it was an excellent deal, so I snagged that for them. Went ahead, I was out of all potatoes, since I've been eating so many potatoes. So I just bought this five pound bag of potatoes. This was $4. Uh, I didn't want the real big one. They did have an uh, eight pound bag of potatoes and it was $9 there, but I didn't really want to spend that. Just like I said, most of the time I buy, buy potatoes, they seem to go bad before I can use them all. And I hate to pay, you know, all that price, but I, so I snagged this one. Went ahead and got my red lettuces again. This time they looked a little bit better. And so I got two of those. I needed to pick up some more prunes. I actually eat them not for the reason why most people eat them. Because I am low in calcium. I read somewhere that prunes 
build, uh, builds your bone mass in your body, you know, so like people won't get like osteoporosis and stuff like that as you get older. And I figured I need all the help I can get. Uh, so that's why I eat at least two to three prunes a day to help my bones. I mean, it helps the other way too, which is great. <laughs> I went ahead and got this in my clearance section this week. This is a family size of honey bunches of oats. Now, my mother-in-law, she eats this kind. Um, so I went ahead and got this for her because you can't beat 270 for a family size box. I do believe, I, let's see what the, reg the regular price would be $6. So that's a good deal and I figured she could eat on that. And for some odd reason, my Kroger store, yes, is extremely high on everything else because we're more in the rural area, but my clearance section is a whole lot better than my mom's Kroger or my daughter's Kroger, which they're in different cities. I guess I just have more of a selection. They do have quite a bit there. I was able to snag this for my mother-in-law and I got two boxes, that's all they had. It's Quaker oatmeal, it's a variety pack, apple cinnamon, maple and brown sugar, and cinnamon and spice. And uh, let's see, you got eight packets and I only paid $1.66. So you couldn't beat that. It says it is good till October of this year. And this cereal too was good to October of this year, which again, that, that's a really good deal if you're eat. I know she eats it every day, so it would be gone, you know. So I was able to snag this for my husband again in my clearance section, Kroger Chewy Dipped Peanut Butter Granola Bars. He's been taking a granola bar to work and I just couldn't beat the price. Regular price is, it's about $2, it says regular price. I think it's higher than that, but I only paid 90 cents, and you can't beat that for a chewy dipped peanut butter granola bar. Now that was my shopping order for Kroger, so with everything that I have here, I spent $61. It wasn't too bad, that was decent. Um, you know, I'm not really watching how much I spend, but I'm just, you know, I'm watching the prices because some things have gone up. Some things actually have gone down. My milk has gone down. I was paying $3.89 for a gallon of milk and I'm now paying $3.59. So that's great. So, you know, we'll see what happens there. But when I had, I was over visiting my daughter who lives several towns over and she's about 40, 45 minutes away from, from me. And she has an Aldi's over there. And I said, oh, I, can I go in Aldi's? <laughs> you know, and I kind of just ran in quickly because I wanted to get some bananas and I got something else too. So I ended up picking up the bananas at Aldi's. Now, would you believe, two, but, you know, 41 cents a pound for bananas. Again, my Kroger is charging 65 cents a pound. And then my Myers charging me 59 cents a pound. And she's only paying 41 cents a pound. That was the steal, so I figured I'd get two bunches. And again, you know, they're not, these aren't huge. I mean, these are longer than I'm used to, uh, but these are a little bit smaller, and I like that, you know, the smaller bananas. And then since, again, it was going to be my birthday tomorrow, I wanted some steak. Our, my freezers are actually full. I'm going to be eating through my freezers, but I don't have any steak frozen in my freezers to get it out to have it for my birthday, so I figured I'd... I would like steak. I usually, you know, if I could go out to eat, I would, but it's just, I have so many medical issues that I really, I'm not supposed to be eating anything with preservatives in it, uh, you know, artificial stuff. So I really have to watch it. So again, I have not eaten out in years. I mean, it's probably been eight, nine years, maybe 10. Uh, so I'm not gonna start now. So I went ahead and I snagged this. They had grass fed beef. Uh, this is ribeye steak, and I ended up getting two of them, and it, to me it seemed like a really good price. I ended up only paying $13.10 for each of them. Now, I mean, clearly I can't eat all that ribeye. I'll probably cut it in half. I'll cook it, cut it in half, and then I'll get at least two meals out of it for me. My husband will eat the whole thing, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that, but I couldn't beat that. So the bananas and the steak, I ended up paying about... $15 at Aldi's, which is reasonable. So that's only, what, $76 in groceries this week? Because usually I spend over 100 something. So again, because my freezers are full. I'll have to uh, later on show you how full my freezers are, but I... Here's the freezer. 
And like I said, it's kind of like a hot mess. Again, I haven't found anything really I can organize, but I have got food, of course, straight down. I know what most of the stuff is in here because, again, I've got the, uh, uh, the sheet that I have, which is, again, just a piece of contact paper. And then I use that contact paper, you know, a special pen that you write on contact paper with. It's like a dry erase marker. And that's really what helps me know what's in there because, yeah, it is a hot mess in my freezer. Uh, but again, it's a lot that we have to eat through. All that breakfast stuff is for my husband. I've got some frozen rolls there I made. I got uh, frozen applesauce that's homemade. Frozen ice cream that I made, blackberry ice cream, which is really, really good. But it's full. So I've got a plenty of meat and chicken that I really don't need to buy anything unless... You know, I know that we're really, really low because I mean, right now I've got a lot in here, so I definitely need to eat through it because, you know, I paid all that money and I don't want to waste it. So uh, I'll be working on that in the next couple of months and trying to get through it. You'll still see shopping hauls from me, but again, it may not be uh, so much meat related. My freezer upstairs. <laughs> upstairs in my kitchen. Uh, this freezer I use for when I make homemade goods and I put uh, the leftovers away and we eat on them. And as you can see, I've got quite a bit in here. Got some ice cream for the grandkids and my husband. There's my Briar's ice cream. Some orange juice, some, a whole bunch of that pumpkin that I froze. And over on this one over here, I've got a whole bunch of, I have canned um, frozen chicken broth, applesauce, my soup. I still have that frozen. My husband is still eating on it. And we got just, what, four jars left and it will be gone. So he really loves that soup. It's the only soup that he doesn't have to take a Tums. It doesn't give him any heartburn, I guess, because it has that added chicken broth in there. I also cook pears and, of course, freeze that as well. So this whole entire side of my freezer is full of... Uh, jars with frozen stuff. So I've got a lot of eating uh, through in my freezer. So as you can see, we are quite uh, full. I definitely need to eat out of my freezers. So I stopped into uh, the Dollar Tree. I don't know if any of my listeners listen to, she's on YouTube. Her name's uh, Thrifty Tiffany. Uh, she goes and she does these Dollar Tree hauls and she had showed something the other day, and I guess she says she's in Georgia. Now, again, I'm in the Midwest, and so who's to say that I'm going to find the same stuff that she has at her Dollar Tree down here or up here? And so I went ahead and I went into a Dollar Tree again over by, somewhat over by my daughter. It is not near me. And I snagged one of the items that she showed on her channel, and I thought it was just the cutest thing this is hearts and they are they're somehow glued all the way down it's like a foam heart and it's got like a base to it and everything and they only had one left i'm assuming because everybody raked them clean uh T thrifty tiffany showed one that was red which i mean i would have loved to have the red red and pink and again, at $1.25, you can't beat that. I've got a lot of uh, decorative shelves in my house that I have um, like candles on them. I do not light these candles. These are like, I've got Christmas, you know, they're, they're geared for the seasons. And I've had them probably, oh, a good 10, 15 years. And it's just something to add a little bit of decoration into my home. The reason why I bought candles to put on my decorative shelves is when my kids were smaller, I didn't want to have something that was ceramic where, you know, they might have knocked it off the shelf. And back then I had hardwood floors, you know, of course it would have shattered. So I ended up buying these candles and they just looked, like I said, they looked really cute. And so I thought that I would go ahead and put this on one of my shelves for Valentine's Day. I don't always buy something new to decorate my home. I, like again, I use everything until it breaks. So the, can if the candle breaks in half, hey, I just, I get to throw it away. You know, no loss, but I've used them for years. And it's just kind of a more of an inexpensive way 
to decorate some of your shelves because some of that is a little bit you know expensive to do but yeah so that was my big purchase i spent with tax a dollar 35 at my dollar tree and that was this week so all in all i did pretty good now thank you for watching this was karen with living our dream homestead and i hope you have a good day